Okay, so this is a seven mark question. It's a KC calculation. So we need to use a um, we need to use a table. Okay, so let's make ourselves a little table quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to make a basic little table. So your teacher might label this a little bit differently to me. So you can use whichever method is easiest for you to remember. But what we have is the reaction. Then over here we have initial moles. Then we have change. And your teacher might call this something different. Your teacher might call this the difference or whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you understand what it means. And then this is the equilibrium moles. And then this is the concentration at equilibrium. Okay, so we know that the reaction is literally, you just write out the reaction like that, um, oxygen, and then two SO3 as a gas. Okay, then I say plus, and then there's an arrow, an arrow. So that's what they mean when we say reaction. For the initial moles, it's like, how many moles did we have in the beginning? So we have four moles of SO2, four moles of SO2, 5.5 moles of oxygen, 5.5 moles of oxygen. And then um, if they don't mention anything about this one, remember that it is a product. So it, it normally starts as a zero. When the reaction reaches equilibrium, four moles of oxygen is in the container. So there are four moles of oxygen in the container. It makes sense. It makes sense that um, it started as a 5.5 and then it has gone down and now it is four. It goes down because it is a reactant. So how much did it go down by or how much did it change? It changed by negative 1.50 because it went from 5.50 minus 1.50 and that gives us four. Now, this column or this row, uh, let me get a different color for you. This row is the most important row in the entire table. That row and these numbers. Very important because we are going to use those numbers together with this one to help us work out um, what this one will be and also what this one will be. And then once we have that, then we have everything we need. So if I'm going to do it nice and slowly. If we have the, the, the ratio of SO2 to oxygen, if I look at that over here and over here, I can see that their mole ratio is two to one. So how many moles reacted uh, for oxygen? It's 1.50, so I can say 1.50. So then this one would have to be three because 1.50 multiplied by two is three. So I'll say minus three because it's a reactant. So it's gonna go down. And so that means that there will be one mole left over. Then if I look at the ratio of, um, and guys, you can do this however you like. You can look at the ratio of these two with each other, or you can look at the ratio of these two with each other. It doesn't matter. You get the same answer at the end of the day. So I'm going to look at SO2 and SO3. Their mole ratio is two to two, which is the same as one to one. And so if I know that SO2 is a three, then it means that the SO3 must also be three. So this will be a plus. The reason it's a plus is because it becomes more because it is a product. And so I can now fill that in. Now to work out concentration, we are gonna use the formula C equals to N over V. And the volume has been given to us, where are you here? As two decimeters. So I can say that the concentration here will be one over two. 1 over 2, 4 over 2, which is the same as 2, 
and then three over two, which is the same as 1.5. And this one is the same as 0 0.5. So I just went and worked out the concentration of each of those. Now I am in a position to calculate Kc. Remember, out of your, for your own interest, Kc only works with gases and it only works with aqueous, okay? If there was a solid or a liquid, you leave it out completely. So the Kc formula is always the products over the reactants. And so what we do is we look at the equation and the products is SO3. So it's the concentration of SO3 to the power of two. The power of two is because of this number over here over um, SO2 to the power of two. Now, some students ask me, Kevin, is it a plus here or is it a times? It's a times. So I'm just gonna put a little dot and then it's the oxygen. And the square brackets indicate concentration. And so now we already have the concentrations on our table. So we can go and get those now. So the SO3 is 1.5 to the power of two. SO2 is 0 0.5 to the power of two, and then the oxygen is two. Go ahead, type this in on the calculator, and our Kc value is 4.5.